Good afternoon, I'm Jeff. I'm a Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at 3053 Southeast Root Court here in Hillsboro. We're located at the front of the home, just off to the left of the front doorway. Got a 3 inch ABS clean out. This will be the point of access. I'm going to insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. Currently have water running. Here we go. We just went through a section there with quite a lot of standing water and debris amongst the standing water. We'll check that out on the way back when it's drained out. Okay, and here at 70 feet, we have reached the main lateral. I'm going to go ahead and get the water turned off, let it drain out here for a couple minutes. I do want to take a look at this last half of the line. There's quite a lot of standing water and debris.
Okay, so right here at 45 feet, this is the start of a, it appears to be a belly in the line. There is a ton of debris that's built up from this point on out to the main lateral. In spots, it looks like the debris is four inches thick. It's as big as the, it's filled up the whole pipe. Um, what I don't know is if it's just simply a belly in a line where there's standing water causing the debris to build up or if it's that um, associated with possible root intrusion or something like that. There's so much debris in the pipe that you cannot see uh, what is going on beyond this point, unfortunately. Um, I, there's at least standing water going on here, uh, but possibly also some other stuff. When I was pulling back through, it was very difficult to move the camera back and forth. Uh, there's a lot of resistance from debris and possibly, uh, again, roots, but there's so much stuff in here we can't get a good picture of what's going on. But there's looking like there's probably at least a couple inches of standing water. When I try and push through this spot here, it's very difficult. And that's why I think there's possibly roots. Because normally I don't get this much resistance from just debris. It does appear the line transitions here shortly after this point over to concrete pipe. That's how the line finishes. Um, just so, but unfortunately, we can't see any of that until the very end of the pipe. So I'm assuming the transition is here, but I'm not entirely sure if it is or not. But it does appear to go over to at least four, if not six inch concrete. All right, so I did a, uh, I located and marked this spot here. This is where the issue obviously begins here at 45 feet. Uh, the standing water extends all the way out to the main lateral connection. Um, but the hard part here is there's so much debris once again in standing water that's difficult to know exactly what's going on. There could be tree roots and stuff causing debris to hang up in the pipe. Uh, if you get enough debris in the line, it's going to cause uh, artificially standing water to be there even if the line is not lost slope and grade. Uh, more than likely, I think it's a combination of the pipe has lost slope and grade and possibly roots as well. Um, Kind of two options here. You could hydrojet the line and do a rescope. Hydrojetting will blow the vast majority of the debris out of the line, and a rescope may be able to see if there's some other issue going on, like roots or something like that, that's causing the debris to build up. Um, more than likely, though, with the amount of standing water in the pipe, I think it's probably due just to a, a significant belly in the line. But where I, I marked here with a white X, if you're standing in the street looking at the front of the home from the street, we're at the, uh, we're just off the left of the driveway, uh, only about five feet or so from the street curve. I'm going to push out here and do uh, markings along the way. When I get to this point right here, it's extremely hard to push the camera through whatever is in the way. It's a, it's either it's very thick debris or there's also something like roots going on. In fact, I can't even get my camera to move past this point now. I will uh, go do a marking right here. Unfortunately, I cannot get past this point for some odd reason. It's ex it's just hitting something hard here. So I'll do another white X marking here, but it may require a hydrojet to actually, or that, or an auger to remove the debris so that a camera can get back through here, because now I can't. I tried doing locates right here. Uh, I'm getting a, a half decent signal coming through, but the, the depths are way off. Um, where I just located at 45 feet, I was getting 7 feet uh, pretty accurately coming in. Uh, but at this point, there's so much stuff surrounding the camera head that it's throwing off the, the signal. It's making it look like it's deeper than it is. So uh, I was just going to show where I stopped at. It's only about 3 4 feet in front of the uh, where the belly and issues begin at 45 feet. Uh, but now that I can't get a camera back through here, um, it may be a good idea to do a hydrojet or auger to bust this stuff up so a camera can get back through, because now I can't push the camera out to locate uh, the other parts of the line. Uh, but as we can see earlier, pulling back through there with the line drained out completely, we still uh, had about two to three inches at least of standing water, and in many places the debris was um, just as thick. It was three to four inches thick in places where my camera had to literally bore a hole through the debris build up. Uh, so this will require some uh, further work to, to get it fully diagnosed. Uh, more than likely though from 45 feet out to the main lateral is probably going to require a repair to get it resolved. I, I doubt that just hydrojetting it uh, is going to resolve the issue. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and reel back the camera head. Uh, once again, I do have the uh, line marked at 45 feet with a wide X, right around 7 feet deep there. Uh, but I do highly recommend uh, at least getting a drain cleaner out here to uh, run an auger or jetter through the line to clear the debris out so that a camera can go back through there and re-inspect. Because there is always the possibility that it's because t paper towels and stuff like that have gone down the pipe and, and clogged it up and that's what's causing the standing water or it could be that the line has significantly lost grade and bellied out um, or roots as well. It's hard to say at this time without the line being cleaned out. Everything out to that point though is looking good and drains well and is in good shape.